Welcome to God's Word Fellowship. I'm Gerald Santiago and we are going to study about increase is God's will for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to Jesus. Let's pray. Father, we come to you in the name of our Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you for your holy written word. Father, we thank you your words are truth. Father, we thank you heaven and earth will pass away, but your words will never pass away. And Father, we pray you teach us your word and your ways. Father, we pray you grant us wisdom, knowledge, understanding and revelation in your word, your will and your love. Father, we pray you grant us ideas, concepts and insights. Father, we pray you show us great and mighty things that we do not know. Father, we pray that you show us wonderful things out of your word. Father, we thank you for word in due season. Father, we thank you for answers and solutions. And Father, we thank you so much for your mighty hand. Father, we pray you stretch out your hand and heal people and do signs and wonders by the name of thy holy child, Jesus. Father, we thank you so much you heard and answered our prayers. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to Jesus. It's so wonderful to, um, you know, to meet you through this uh, message again. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a great thing that we are able to ponder upon the word of God. It's good to gather around the word and meditate on it and feed it. It will energize our life and make us strong and enable us to inherit the blessings God, God has given us through our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, there is a verse in Acts. Go with me to Acts chapter 20. Acts chapter 20. You know, this is, these are the words spoken by the Apostle Paul uh, to the elders of uh, Ephesus. Right, just before he was going to say bye to them <laughs> right, forever and he told them I'm not going to meet you again but before I go I'm going to do this so I'm going to commit you to God and his word he says right? and uh, let's look at that hallelujah to Jesus verse 32 and now brethren I commend you to God and to the word of his grace which is able to build you up so when, when, you, when you feed in the word of God, it will build you up spiritually and it will also give you an inheritance among all of them, all of them which are sanctified. See, it's the word that enables us to inherit the blessings. So the more you gather around the word, the more ability you receive to inherit the blessings God has given you through our Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to Jesus. So let's go to our text today. Go with me to Psalm. Psalm 115. Hallelujah to Jesus. And uh, let's read from verse 12. Hallelujah to Jesus. The Lord has been mindful of us. He will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless them that fear the Lord, both small and great. The Lord shall increase you more and more, you and your children. You are blessed of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Hallelujah. What a wonderful, wonderful passage. You know, this is God's eternal will for you. This is God's unchanging counsel for you. If you go with me to Hebrews chapter 6, Hebrews chapter 6, and then you know, God gives us an awesome uh, promise. In fact, He swears an oath. This was originally done in Genesis, but um, the Holy Ghost is giving that to us again. So look at this, verse 13. For when God made promise to Abraham, because he could swear by no greater, he swore by himself, saying, Surely, blessing I will bless thee, and multiplying I will multiply thee. Hallelujah. Now keep going down, verse 17. Wherein God willing more abundantly to show unto the hairs of promise, now, who is the heir of promise? You and me, right? We believers are the heirs to the promise that God gave to Abraham, right? Galatians 3 verse 29 teaches us that, right? I mean, if you study the third chapter of Galatians, it, it talks about how we have been blessed along with faithful Abraham. And uh, those of us who have believed right in the Lord Jesus have received the blessing of Abraham through our Lord Jesus Christ. 
the bible says um, if you belong to christ jesus then you are a seed of abraham and you are heir to the promise right heir to the blessing of abraham so when the bible says uh, heirs of promise it's talking about you it's talking about me so i like to read it like this actually when i'm when i'm studying this passage wherein god willing more abundantly to show unto me the heir of promise the immutability of his counsel meaning the unchangeable the unchangeableness of his counsel immutable means unchangeable right this is an unchangeable counsel of god this is an unchangeable counsel i mean desire of god this is what god wants for eternity he wants to bless you he wants to multiply you you know god is a good father and this is his will for you and me right and we have looked at different passages that talk about that now in the last two messages we began to study about how you should be willing to fight for your blessings right you are not going to pick up a fight with sword and a gun with your neighbor or your other human beings that's not what we are talking about we are talking about the spiritual warfare we need to stand firm in faith right in the midst of uh, um, you know opposing circumstances in the face of adversity in the face of adverse circumstances in the face of your enemies human enemies right when people are coming against you and saying we will not allow you to increase right <laughs> you remember that's what they did with this um isaac hmm they he he dug a well the philistines came and took it and said you know this is our well he dug another well <laughs> they they came and took possession of that also right and finally he dug another well a third one and then uh, they didn't fight for that and uh, isaac said uh, okay i'm going to name this rehaboth right because god has made room for us to be fruitful right you know god will make room for you to be fruitful but in order to enjoy this increase this fruitfulness that god has promised we should be people who walk by faith and not by sight we should be people who are uh, willing to hold on to the promise of god and have faith in god even when it Uh, looks like it's not going to happen even when it looks like it's getting worse even it's even when it looks like it's going to be a total disaster right we need to develop that uh, soldier mentality right the mentality of a warrior we should be willing to fight for our blessings we should be willing to fight the good fight of faith hallelujah Hallelujah to Jesus glory be to God so let's just say you know naturally speaking if somebody comes to your house and says okay this is my house you get out of the house now what would you say okay sir i will leave the house now <laughs> would you do that no you would say who who are you who do you think you are coming into my house and asking me to get out and you get out of my house now <laughs> right you would put up a fight wouldn't you right why <laughs> because it's yours you worked for it you earned it you built it it's yours <laughs> right you're not going to let some stranger walk in and or uh, anybody else for that matter walk in and just take over your house you wouldn't what if somebody comes and claims your children uh, that's my child right not yours what would you do <laughs> right <laughs> yeah are you going to give up your children and say okay sir it's your child is it oh i'm so sorry that i took care of him for these many years i robbed you of the the joy that you should have had with your children please take my children and go are you going to say that no you're going to put up a fight you're going to say what this is my boy this is my girl who do you think you are walking into my house and claiming my children right you would put up a fight for it wouldn't you see that that's that's what we should do spiritually now sometimes christians they put up a fight in the for natural things right but when it comes to spiritual things they just roll over and play dead anything over oh, you know the, the, all the devil has to do is is uh, put up an appearance of problem right if he brings up a wind if he brings a storm immediately people would say amen we are going to perish <laughs> right 
But that's not what Jesus taught us to do. He said, stand against the wind. Stand against the storm. Stand against it. Use your faith. Right? Subdue the storm. See, that's the way of Jesus. Do you understand this? And that's the way we are supposed to walk in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to Jesus. If the devil comes against you, you don't just roll over and play dead. No, you put up a fight using the word of God and the name of Jesus and your faith. Hallelujah to Jesus. Let's look at Romans chapter 4. Here we are going to look at um, the steps of the faith of Abraham. Right? How are we going to inherit this increase? Many times people fail to inherit the blessings because you, you know, they haven't learned how to walk in faith. Now we say have faith in God, but, but they don't really understand how to apply it practically. So here the Bible gives us some steps that we can actually follow. It's called the steps of the faith of Abraham. Right? Go with me to Romans chapter 4 verse 12. And the father of circumcision to them who are not of the circumcision only, but who also walk in the steps of that faith of our father Abraham. Right? So let's go to verse um, 17. As it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations before him who believed, even God, who quickens the dead and calls those things which be not as though they were. Right? And now we will probably look at this particular point. Calls those things which be not as though they were later. I want to focus on verse 18 today. Right? Verse 18. Look at this. Who against hope believed in hope, that he might become the father of many nations, according to that which was spoken, so shall your seed be. This is something that we Christians have to master, especially in the coming days and year, especially in the coming days and in this coming year. If, if you are going to uh, expect increase, based on the natural circumstances and um, the various factors, the natural factors that influence economy or business or prosperity, you are not going to get much. You are not. Right? If you truly want to increase, I want you to learn how to choose to believe God in spite of how it looks on the outside. That's how people like Abraham, Isaac and Jacob and Joseph achieved continual increase. They kept increasing. They kept moving forward. Now there is a reason for that. It's not just you know God is playing favorites. Okay, I'm going to give Abraham increase no matter what he does. Right? Let him just keep increasing. Abraham is my favorite boy. Right? Uh, Isaac, Isaac, Isaac is my all-time favorite. He's going to increase more and more, no matter what kind of goof up he does. You know, and he's just going to increase, man. Oh, Jacob. I really don't care what he does. I don't even care what he thinks. Let him just increase. Now, God is not doing that. You know, there was a reason why those people kept increasing. One of the major reasons is this. They expected their increase from God and God alone. They were not looking to people or circumstances or you know somebody else to increase them. They kept their eyes on God. God was their source. God alone. That's why their life is so stable. And it's, 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 it's just an upward trajectory. Do you see this? There is a reason why people experienced what they did. The reason why people like Abraham had such tremendous increase in their life is because they kept their hope in God. They trusted in God. Look at what the Bible says about the faith of Abraham. Who against hope believed in hope. What does that mean? Against hope believed in hope. Meaning there was no reason to hope in the natural, the natural world was not giving him any reason at all to believe that he is going to prosper, that he is going to increase or he is going to inherit this particular blessing, you know, having a child. Right? The natural was not giving him that hope. But he looked to God. 
he put his faith in god and god said okay i'm going to prosper this boy i'm going to bless him he's going to walk in my blessing he is going to inherit the blessing see if we are going to inherit increase right and multiplication and continual progress then we need to learn how to keep our eyes on god you know that's the key for prospering at all times look at jeremiah go with me to the book of jeremiah you know this is one of my favorite passages in the bible you know <laughs> you you should master this you should study this you should get this into your thinking he talks about two kinds of people one is the man uh, you know a man who trusts in man who makes flesh his arm who looks to people to prosper him right and then there is another man who looks to god let's focus on that guy today right verse 7 blessed is the man that trusted in the lord whose hope the lord is not to see the bible is saying trust and then hope right so this man is looking to god and his hope that god is going to increase him bless him and protect him and so on is not based on what is happening on the outside it's not based on some circumstance it's not based on some people it's not based on the government it's not based on how favorable things are looking or unfavorable the things are looking no his hope is derived from god and his promise his word right now what happens to this type of man see because god is his hope the god who never changes the god who is almighty the god who can do anything with whom nothing is impossible because he has placed his trust in god almighty notice what happens to him verse 8 for he shall be as a tree planted by the waters see a tree that is planted by the waters like a river or a stream uh, right or a lake what happens to it right it has continual supply right let's say you are you are planted next to a, a perennial river right that uh, river that's flowing in all seasons and you are planted right next to that what happens to such a tree hmm? that 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 would get water all the time isn't it all the time every time every day even it is hot outside that tree is going to get water right even if other places are drying up because it's next to the river it's going to get its supply of water in all kinds of weather right and because of that reason it's going to be green all the time it's going to be become large it's going to spread out its roots right its leaf is always green it always bears fruit right see sir in the natural circumstances can be favorable or they can become unfavorable people can be your supporters and they can become hostile also you know bible while talking about our lord jesus you know it says that he would not commit himself to men right because <laughs> this guy you know sometimes they act like schizophrenic people right you remember when jesus did the miracle <laughs> um of uh, of multiplying the bread they, they they would say okay this is the prophet who came down and then the next day jesus starts starts teaching about the uh, body and the blood right and they don't understand it they 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 under, they they completely misunderstand what jesus is saying and uh, they just walk away with him in multitudes i mean walk away from him in multitudes right sometimes people are hey, they're shouting for you next time they're ready to stone you <laughs> right so <laughs> right. people are not really trusted you know people cannot be trusted like you can trust god right only god is worthy of such trust when you trust him he never changes his word never changes he is above all he is almighty all the time right he is our shepherd all the time he lives forever and ever so he can help us at any time in the same way he can multiply you during good times he can multiply you during a time of famine 
he can multiply you during war time he can multiply you during peace time he can do that at all times he can keep his word he can fulfill his word in spite of the circumstances it could be a hot scorching weather or rainy season doesn't mean much to god he can prosper you at both seasons in both seasons do you understand that that's why in order to prosper like the bible teaches you have to learn to uh, hope in god against all hope you need to learn to keep your eyes on god you need to learn to lean on him completely totally god alone should be your source when when you look to him in that fashion right what happens in the natural doesn't mean much right god can always prosper you and he will right see that's the reason isaac could gain more and more and keep moving forward even during a time of famine because he was not keeping his eyes on the um, you know the weather condition or or, or the rain factor uh, or the economy of the philistine nation or the economic policies of abimelech now he kept his eyes on god and god blessed him and god prospered him did you get this hallelujah hallelujah to jesus we will continue our study about increase tomorrow right listen to this message right closely continually maybe even repeatedly it's going to help you in this year and in the coming year right we we, we do things based on the leading of the holy spirit that's how i choose topics at any given time and this will strengthen you it will prepare you it will help you to inherit the blessings god has made ready for you hallelujah please share our audio messages and our video messages with your friends family relatives co-workers neighbors people who need the word people who love the word servants of god believers share it with them god will honor you and uh, please make a note of our whatsapp number it's 9944283332 and also make a note of our email address prayer at gwfindia.in um send us your prayer request we will believe card along with you. you can message it to our whatsapp number or email it to our email address we will believe card along with you god will do awesome things for you hallelujah hallelujah to jesus send us your testimonies of how god is working in your life through this ministry we love to hear from you we will praise card along with you and your testimonies will inspire other christians to trust god and get victory in their life hallelujah to jesus thank you so much for listening god bless you jesus is coming soon